Hi, I'm Paul McGann. I'm the Chief Medical Officer for Quality Improvement at CMS. In the diabetes task in the QAO 11 Statement of Work, there's a real push to increase the amount of education that patients and beneficiaries with diabetes as a chronic disease have in order to get them more involved in helping to manage their own disease. We call this diabetes self-management education. And to date in the uh, QIO 11 Statement of Work, we have now educated 19,000 beneficiaries with diabetes self-management education, which is sometimes abbreviated DSME. The two main immunizations that are important for Medicare beneficiaries are influenza vaccination and pneumococcal vaccination. To date, in the QIO 11 Statement of Work, over 325,000 beneficiaries have received these very important and life-saving immunizations from providers recruited by Quinn QIOs. One really remarkable project that has helped improve the quality of nursing home care over the last number of years is the push to reduce the percentage of long-stay residents who use antipsychotic medications. And I'm very pleased to report that 49 of 50 states are reporting reductions in the use of antipsychotic medication that go well beyond the 3% uh, targeted reduction number. And in the high performance category within this task, we now have four states who are reporting reductions in the use of antipsychotic medications that are over 30%. And those states are Hawaii, Arkansas, Utah, and Puerto Rico. And in Puerto Rico, the reductions are approaching 50%. So it's quite remarkable the work that's being done here. And in the high performing states, we're seeing really tremendous reductions. And I think it gives us something that we can learn about target setting in the future. And this is what we call best in class performance. And when we look at best in class performance, it gives us clues as to when things go well and when everything is uh, firing on all cylinders and everybody is engaged with the task, exactly how well we can do. The community-based work has two main components. The first is the work to reduce adverse drug events. And the second is the work to uh, reduce admissions and readmissions and improve care coordination. What we have here is the formation of almost 300 communities around the United States from coast to coast that are working on these two community-based projects. And in the Adverse Drug Event Project, already 61 different interventions have been implemented and measured for the reduction of adverse drug events. And in the care transitions work, 327 interventions have been implemented and measured so far in the 11th Statement of Work. And we're going to be having outcome measures for both of those projects very shortly. One of the best lessons that we've learned in the QAO program and in other quality improvement programs over the last 10 years is how important it is ahead of time to set the target and to keep your eye on the target as you work. You know, when I first got into this field 20 years ago, we would develop our interventions, we would ask our customers what they would like in terms of quality improvement, and we would deploy our program of work out into the community. We would always have goals, I would say they were usually standard goals, but we didn't understand 15 years ago exactly how important the goal itself is in terms of motivating behavior over three to five years. We now know something very important and that is what the target is that you set, what the target is that you commit to, and what the target is for the community actually determines performance over the next three to five years. It's a very important first step to determine performance. And what we've learned is that the higher the goal you set, the higher your performance will be, like in many areas of life.